Get away. Teamwork. There it comes. Whoa. Hey, whoa. Go, get out of here. Hey, hey. How do you eat? What? Zebia, Zebia. What? How do you eat? See? How do you eat? Hey, what? Hey, hey, what? Merci, mon ami. C'est bien, c'est bien. I fucked up.
Ça va aller, allez. Ah Émile Victory had a bittersweet taste for Anna. Carl, seriously wounded, had been sent to a POW camp. Anna's father had disappeared with Baron von Dorf, and Emil was court-martialed for desertion. Cited for his bravery in Reims, Emil was fortunately pardoned and set free, free to go back to the front. Mobile Freddy. February 21st, 1916. Winter had descended on the front. After joining back up with the army, Emile and Freddy were stationed near Verdun, suffering like many others from the harsh winter. That morning, the arrival of the mail raised spirits, but Marie's letter did not bring good news. In Saint Miel, Food was scarce, disease was rife, and the number of dead was growing. Out of this grim news, however, there was one ray of light. A photo of his grandson, Victor, standing on both feet and learning to walk. Ready? I need you to come this way. I need to find the income pen. Don't let me go to the gallery for much. I need to find you a sock. Jesus Christ. I got you your sock. You need another one? Oh, you need a clean one. Son of a bitch. Diaries. June 15, 1915. I'll never be able to thank Anna enough for saving Carl. After the Zeppelin crash, knowing that he's no longer at the front line and he's a POW has put my mind at rest. I'm so relieved he's safe from harm. However, he's doing okay in St. Mel, despite the German occupation. How much luck can a guy have? There's this huge cathedral hill. Makes me think of you. It sent me back to the army. I'm not going to make my search any easier. I was so frightened when I saw the Zeppelin crash today. Fortunately, Father wasn't on board because the Baron had already taken him away by aircraft. I managed to save Mule's son-in-law before they sent him to POW camp. His legs were in a critical state. I'll be going with him to make sure he's all right. As he grows, Victor reminds me more and more of Carl. Not a day goes by without me thinking of him. Germans are requesting all of our crop no, requesting all of our crops. There must be food shortages in Germany. I managed to hire some for the next winter. Can't wait for this stupid war to end. What you found, boy? Genius, Emil. Genius. <laughs> Genius, Emil. Genius. Oh, I need now is a quill. 
I've seen a bird get hit by a piece of bread. I guess when they say move your ass, you move your ass. Oh, okay. It's the cut. What about a mirror? Oh, shit, we gotta leave. Not Why would you do this? See if I missed something. Oh, wait, there it is. Wait, can I just punch it? Punch! Nope, got it. 